Rory Ledbetter. I'm a glass maker at Jerpoint Glass. Jerpoint Glass has been in existence since the late 70s. It's a family-run business. My dad studied in Aura Force Glass in Sweden in the 70s, and when he moved to Kilkenny in the south of Ireland in the late 70s, he met my mother, Kathleen, and they set up Jerpoint Glass in Stonyford, Kilkenny. The tools that we use are the same tools that have been used in glass making since it was first done thousands of years ago. And they're made from wood and steel, simple shapes, simple tools, uh, wooden blocks for shaping the pieces and metal tools. Uh, the wooden blocks that we use to shape and manipulate the glass are made from fruit woods because they're nice hard woods, so usually cherry or apple and we keep them in water to keep them from burning through too quick. The jacks are made from stainless steel and we also use a, a, a paper peg sacks to open rims on glasses because the paper pegs, when they're, once they're damp, are a lot softer than a metal sack. Our glasses shipped in from Sweden. There are 13 raw materials for our particular blend of glass. Uh, the most common of which would be potash, borax and silica sand. The coloured glass is basically made up of the same raw materials that make the clear glass, except they add a catalyst to make it change colour. For instance, iron oxide makes glass go green, or cobalt makes it blue. A piece of glass you need to strategically heat and cool different areas of the glass, and to blow out the bubble for the piece you need to create some pressure in the blowing iron. You do this by uh, placing the iron to your lips, blowing down it and it, the common misconception is that it's like trying to blow up a balloon and uh, you know emptying everything that's in your lungs into the pipe but it's actually just about creating a small bit of pressure in the pipe and the pressure that blows out the bubble. The shapes that we make, for instance the wine glass is a traditional shape that's been made for hundreds of years. The furnace is left on all year round and it's, uh, our working temperature at the furnace is 1120 centigrade, but at night time when we throw in more glass, more raw material so that we have glass to work with the, the next day, it's turned up to 1250 centigrade. When the piece is on the pontal iron, we reheat the rim so that we can manipulate that into its final shape. The colours that we use are, the inspiration for them is taken from nature, for instance the heather which is taken from the local uh, flowers in the area. The seascape is made up of th uh, three colours, it's green, white and turquoise and it's inspired by uh, colours from nature and the surrounding area. At the end of the working day, the Lear is at 470 degrees centigrade. We leave it on this temperature for about an hour, so that even the final piece into the Lear has had this soakage period. After that hour, the glass cools down to room temperature over about 12 hours. When the glass comes out of the Lear the following morning, the only thing we do is soften the pontal mark. The pontal mark is always left because it's a sure sign that the glass is handmade. We sell the finished product through our shop and gallery at the Jerpoint Glass Studios in Kilkenny and we also sell to many shops around the country and abroad. Our handmade glass can also be bought through our online store at jerpointglass.com.